Hello there, folks. I've decided to take time out of my uh, current schedule for tonight to make a little video in... how do I put this? A video instructing you how to remove sound effects from certain DVDs for fandom purposes. Now, I think this only works for Funimation DVDs. I'm not 100% sure that's all I've seen them used on. Feel free to try any other uh, DVDs, see if it works or not. So, uh, let's get started. Okay, so first, you pull up DVD Encryptor. Yeah, or Decryptor. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Okay. Alright, next, you go to Mode, then IFO. And I see all these little things pop up. Now, if you have the kind of hard drive to, um handle all this you can go ahead and convert them all because there's really no telling what kind of footage you'll need now once you're done with that you go to stream uh, stream processing and make sure that video and the six channel one these are the only ones marked everything else you're supposed to remain unchecked but for some reason I can't do that oh that's right enable steam yeah I'm, I'm derp so make sure only these two boxes are are checked. Alright. Then, and then you click this little thing here to decrypt. Like I said, I've already done this, so once you're done with that, once it's decrypt, and believe me, it's probably going to take a while, uh, you're done with this program. You don't need it for now. Yeah, you're probably going to get this a lot. Go away! It's not important. Alright, next, you open virtual mo virtual dub mod here. There we go. Then we choose the video we want. It doesn't really matter which one, to be honest. Um, let's go with this one, just for the hell of it. And you wait for it to open. All right, I see we have two preview boxes here. Now, normally it asks you which audio stream to pick, you know, either OX80 or OX82. If you get the choice, I think go with OX80, because that's, that's what works with this DVD. Okay, now you go to video, and then compression. Alright. And I see a little box popped up here. Now you want to click on this one. You're going to have to have XVID installed for this one. So that's another program you're going to need. Once you're done with that, you click on configure and set this for 21.00. The default should be 4.00, I think. And then you click OK. And click OK again. Next, you go to video and filters. Then you go to add. Then you go to de interlace or de interface. Then you want to you're gonna to want to pick this one. Next, you're going to go with resize. If I can find it, there you are. Click OK. Set the width for 640 and the height 360. Now, just to let you know, the video is going to look pixely, but we have a solution for that later. It's going to involve another program, though. Just letting you know that now. Hit OK. Now you go to Video. And make sure full, process yeah, full processing mode is checked. Next, you go to Streams, then Stream List. You click on this, you'll op the only option you're going to get here. Then you click Disable. This should put little lines through it. Then you click DMUX, or however you pronounce it. Label this whatever you want. Just for the hell of it. And now you wait. And wait. And wait. Until finally, it's done. Okay, then you click OK. And we're going to minimize this. Alright. Next... What you're going to need is B light. Click on the little one here. All right. For the input, 
you choose the ACI, the AC3 file you just uh, saved. It should still be in the same folder once it's done. And then you click on the Wave slash PCM tab here. Make sure it's set to Wave. And Group Box 16, yeah, this one. Then over here in B Suite OTA mode, Hyper Gain. You go to Advanced Settings. Make sure the output mode is stereo. Once you're done, just uh, click Start. And wait till this is done or it disappears, letting you know that it's done. Okay, as you see, the box is gone. Okay, now it's saved as a WAV file. You're going to need Audacity for this. Close this. Okay. Now, you're going to need to go get your WAV file. Drag in Audacity. Yeah, just let you know if stuff tends to freeze at this moment. Your audacity did not end hero itself. It's just taking a while. Trust me, I thought the same thing. I thought I messed up. Okay. Yeah, just ignore this. Just hit OK. And wait for audacity to load the WAV file. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have six audio tracks. Now, what you're going to want to do is mute tracks three and four. Just make sure I did this right. Okay. Now, let's see here. If I can find it real quick. Uh, ah, then you go to mix and render. Actually, I'm not real sure if this part is necessary. I just know that when it came to multiple tracks in Audacity, I would do quick, uh, quick mix, but I don't have that option anymore, so I'm pretty sure this is what I'm supposed to do. Now, we save our new wave file. Desktop, sure, why not? Yes, I know, thank you. That's what I want. Alright, once that's saved, you're not going to need this anymore. Now, up in Virtual Dub back up. Go to, let's see here. Go Streamless, then Add. Then you add the file, the WAV file you just made. There it is. Click OK. File, Save As, AVI. video, I mean, just doesn't really matter what. Uh, save for the desktop so it's easier to find. And then you wait. Alright, it's done saving. You don't need this anymore. And... see if this works. And there you have it, pre-mixed fan dubs. Now, like I said, the footage is a little pixely, but we still have our, you know, ripped footage here, which you can easily format to. You can easily change in the format factory to whatever format you want. So that's pretty much it. Uh, hope this helps, and thank you for watching, and thanks to Moogie Mikey for teaching me how to do this.